welcome. And we're live. <laughs> My beautiful Minnesotans, thanks for watching Ask Nancy, Nancy Yang Realtor in the Twin Cities. And in today's video, we're gonna talk, this is a real, like, you know, we always do live, but a real video about That's right. a housing inspection when you know, the buyer is about to close on the deal, but they're gonna hire their own inspector, check the house one more time to see if the house is good. Nancy. Yeah, okay. that's right. In fact, um, our inspector, we're hoping to snag a little bit of time with him, but he had to run off to do another inspector um, inspection actually. So, um, you know, shout out to Eric Woodruff. Thank you for being available Eric. right away. We literally went under contract yesterday and then he had a slot available today and I'm like, please let me take it. <laughs> um, in the busy real estate season, a lot of times uh, home inspectors are booked out like three to four days in advance. There's one I'm always trying to get in with as well, but he's usually booked out like a week and I'm like, okay, well, you know, whoever is most available, because most um, buyers and sellers kind of want to know right away, are we going to be buying this house or are we, um, you know, what's happening, right? So it's kind of, um, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, if we're cooling your heels for a couple of days and um, we're, we're kind of antsy for, you know, a long time, right? So, okay. yeah, so we're talking about a few inspection pieces that, um, you know, we found in the home here and yeah, let's hop right to it. Okay, so I'm gonna take the camera and I'm gonna flip it around so you're gonna see Nancy go through the house <laughs> of things that, you know, me, uh, most people would just see on their, like a face value, but the things that sometimes we can't catch at a uh, like an eyeball level and only the inspectors can can really pinpoint that out and really quick just want to say hi to Pahua. Hi Pahua! Hey Pahua! Thanks for watching. Okay you ready Nancy? I'm ready! All right so I'm gonna take this. All right you can walk right in here actually so Great guys, so um, you know, walk into this house. We're in a gorgeous home, and actually at the beginning of a cul-de-sac, um, over in lovely Cottage Grove. And so I'll tell you that you know when we're first, um, like I always call it, the honeymoon portion, the falling in love with the home period. Period, right? So as you walk into this property, it's really cool to see that you know the flooring is all updated. So this is all laminate flooring. Um, you know, instead of like just the kind of pretty basic um, linoleum, so it's, it's an updated flooring. Um, as well as you know. It, this is a deeper gray, which I actually love deeper colors. People get a little nervous about, you know, adding too much color to their walls. Um, but gray has kind of been like the color of the year for like the last five years. <laughs> so, um, you know, these are all like great upgrades as we're seeing. And so um, I always caution buyers as we're walking through homes is that as much as the bells and whistles um, are definitely very attractive in a home, such as as you walk into the kitchen, you can see, um, you know, white kitchens are really trendy. They're very classic, stay in style all the time. So, you know, these are all updated, they're not the older cabinets, they're newer. We have backsplash, you know, we have, um, in addition to that, granite, and then stainless steel appliances. So these are really what I call the bells and whistles in a home. Um, and obviously they're very attractive to a buyer, but I always caution buyers to make sure that we are not missing the finer details. Uh, obviously these upgrades um, cost quite a bit of money. So, you know, some buyers look at it and be like, well, I don't have $10,000, $15,000 to do those upgrades. Um, and so I'm gonna buy this house because it does. Um, the great thing about this house is that there are a lot of, uh, like a lot of the mechanicals are all wonderfully up to date, very new, so they're going to last a long time. Um, but come on over, I'll show you something we did see during inspection. And um, this is actually the formal dining room space that we're in. And if you can see um, right next to me here, there's kind of a permanent haze in this window. So the windows, uh, both actually upper and lower, it's actually worse than the bottom here. But this is a double paned window, and so in between the panes of glass is usually a layer of gas. But what's happened is that there's a leak at some point in the seal. So um, I can't wipe it away inside or outside. Um, it's really, you know, that uh, staining is really happening on the inside. Luckily, there's a great company um, named Woodbury Glass, actually in Woodbury. Because we, um, my husband and I bought a different house that we were remodeling, and there were nine windows actually with a broken seal just like this. And it costs roughly around $100 um, a piece to have those repaired, which is excellent. It's actually a lot less than having the entire window repaired because that might be, you know, four to $500 per window. So they actually came out to the house, measured, ordered the windows, and then came in and installed it for us. So we were really able to save a lot of money and the windows look crisp and clean. So really makes it easy to do. So we're gonna show you one last thing in the garage. Now, um, this is a typical, um, I would say classic colonial two-story um, here in Cottage Grove, great for young families. I'm gonna open the garage here really quick so you can see. But as we head into the garage, you can see 
see that these two walls, I'm gonna have to turn around and take a look. These two walls right behind us here um, are of course where the garage actually attaches to the home. So it's very important, um, building codes actually require that um, these walls are sheet wrapped and um, you know, ideally we'd like the seams to also be filled, you know, mudded and taped. It doesn't have to be completely finished, but at least a bare minimum, not allowing, like if you had a car that was running here in the garage, um, you know, we, we don't want that carbon monoxide to get through because right above us here is actually the master bedroom. So it's important to make sure that there are um, no gaps along carbon monoxide to seep into the home, just in case a car was running in here for any reason, so just for safety. So it's really important guys during home inspections to hire a professional. Um, I always tell everybody, I just want you to not say, Nancy told me it was a good house, so I bought it. <laughs> um, but I work with a lot of different professionals. Many of them have a background in building, um, you know, active in remodel, you know, and do home inspections, um, obviously as a courtesy and just a, as an arm of their business. But I like to refer people who are professionals, have been doing this for a long time, look at thousands of homes. And it's important to um, walk into any house with your eyes wide open so you understand what you're getting into. Yeah, so that's, uh, you know, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Linda, anything you want to add? Uh, let's just say hi to Rojas La Maravilla. Hey, Rojas. Yeah, we met actually at Open House a couple years ago, so thanks for watching.